Uh, David had mentioned that New York 19th district again. It was a swing district, but anticipated maybe the Republican would be able to come out on top. He did not. The Democrat won. Are you seeing this as a sign of what might happen in November? Is there something more you're looking into with this race? I don't think so. In Florida, in New York, you're going to have a lot more voters who are mobilized on orange man bad and on the anti-Trump vote. And those people will come out in these consequential elections like this. You know, and so there are far and few between races where those people will ultimately be the difference maker. You look back at that poll you showed, you know, 20 percent say they're concerned about threats to democracy. But the overwhelming majority of people in that poll, you combine them together, is cost of living, jobs and economy. Right. And you look at Florida. I mean, Florida was the state that remained open. Florida has the state with the most people moving to it. Florida is the state that people are referring to as the free state of Florida, the land of opportunity. DeSantis is a great record to run on that. He should still stick to talking about the woke agenda because that's going to mobilize Republican voters. But he can always fall back on, look, we came out of COVID on top. We had a sound economy and he can win on that.